Hey guys, Fleming Super Panda here. Welcome to the second take of my Townie server mod. This is an updated version and is designed to help everyone who is having trouble. And hopefully I'll cover all of your problems. The first thing you're going to want to do is download the Townie Advanced zip file. It has all of the Townie jars you're going to need for your Townie mod. So once you have that downloaded, you're going to want to drag them into your server plugins folder just questioner, townie, and townie.jar. You need townie register if you use any type of economy plugin other than the economy, which is very compatible with townie. Another note, I will not be going over how to install an economy mod that c corresponds with townie. If you want to see some of that, um, let me know and I'll try to do that in the future. But for now, this is just about townie, not the economy system. So, once you drag these th three files into your plugins folder, you're going to want to close both of these and run your server. So, you just click start. I already have it installed, so it'll show up here. And you'll see something like this it'll say townie, it'll say mod enabled, and then townie chat enabled. There might be a few more lines of code or text if you have not had it installed yet. But once it's installed, that's all you have to do. Then you stop your server. And once it stops, then you move on to part two. All right, so for step two, you're going to want to go into your townie server folder, go into the plugins folder, townie, data, and worlds. So here are all here will be a list of all your world files that you have in your server folder. Um, if you only have one, then you only have one and that's all you need to worry about. So you're gonna open this text document and I'll resize this a little bit. Okay. So what we have here is a list of commands and um, shortcuts that will tell the program what to do. These are the things that are not coded into the configuration file but you have to change here. So first thing we have here is PVP which is on and force PVP is false you can leave that the same. Um, or plots are claimable that's true. Uh, mobs true. Force town mobs is false. Fire spread is true. Force fire spread is false. Explosions true. True. You can keep all of these true. Alright, so here is where lots of people have trouble where they can't build anywhere because it's not a claimed plot. That's because right here unclaimed zone build is set to false. You want to put that at true and also destroy you want to set that to true. Item use as well and switch as well. Alright, you can name your unclaimed zone whatever you want. I'm just going to stick with wilderness for now. The other settings here, um, they have to do with regeneration, plot regeneration. So if a claimed plot is not in use for a while, it will begin to revert to the snapshot of what it was before it was claimed. So if you don't want that to happen, you can set it to false. Or you can leave it on true to make things interesting. It's right here. Plot management revert is set to true. I'm going to leave it at true because I like that. Um, in that, if you have a large server, a large public server where you're using this mod, and people decide they no longer want to play, their town will be reverted back to its normal state, original wilderness state. All right. So once you're done configuring that. You go to File, Save, close that, and now we can move on to the next part. Next up is easily the most confusing and most daunting part of setting up a town, the townie mod. It is configuring the config config.yml file. Now this can this gets complicated if you're using external plugins such as an economy mod and a permissions mod. For the purposes of this, I am not using either of them, 
but in the future if you'd like to know further on how to do the permission nodes or anything that goes along with economy or permissions plugins let me know in the comments and I will work on that as soon as possible so oops what you're gonna want to do is go to plugins townie yet again this time we're gonna go to settings and open the config.yml file now I'm gonna make this full screen and there are only a few things that you really really need to change in here you can go through it and set it to exactly how you'd like it everything is pretty straightforward but the most important things are changing um, the things that you changed in your world text file so if we scroll through here we're looking for things that you did change in the file that should be changed here so here we see pvp is true force pvp is pvp is false which is what we used in the uh, original config file so most of this we can keep for now here is where we get to change stuff in the plugin interfacing section so as we look through here using essentials is set to false we're not using essentials using economy we also need to set to false because for the purposes of this we are not using economy keep looking through using permissions and we're not using a permissions plugin as either so we can set this to false as well keep searching through these are all specified chat settings I know there is one other thing that we're going to need to set which is wilderness settings we changed all of this to true because we want people to be able to do things in unclaimed plots we don't want them to not be able to do anything so we also have to set these to true just as we did in the world text file now that is all you really have to change you can also set the default town plot size I'm not going to do that here but um, the default size is 16 which can be expanded upon in game I believe you can also change it later on if you decide that that isn't big enough for your purposes so that's about it for the config.yml I know it looks like a lot but truly it isn't so don't let it scare you all right now with that done we can move on to the next part all right so the next step is configuring the chat file so we're going to go again into plugins townie and settings this time we're going to click on the channels the next one will be the chat configuration but the channels are different places for your users to chat in so depending on which channels you have set here um, they the, your users can change chat rooms and only see the people that are in that chat room talking so these are just the default ones which I'm going to go ahead and leave but I'll go through what everything means here so first you have the command so enable in order for your users to get into each of these channels um, they need to type a special tag for the general chat it's slash G then their message they don't need to keep hitting slash G because that'll just keep taking them in and out and in and out alright so the channel tag will have a color and here it is number sign I mean and F which is white these are all the default colors that you see here um, you can use these in game to change the color of your text if anyone has ever wondered how to do that all right so to enable to do this you need to be an admin level um, you can configure this further if you have a permissions plugin um, for now only if you are an OP can you use um, the chat rooms which I will not be covering the permission plugins yet again but if you would like to know how to do that um, leave me a comment and I'll do that in the future 
So the next thing is town, which is slash TC. Um, its color is blue, I believe. Number sign, I mean, and oh, I'm terrible. Yeah, light blue. Okay, um, nation chat is slash NC. Its color is yellow. Admin chat is slash A or slash admin, which their color is rose, which is a pink. Mod is slash M or slash mod, obviously. And their color is purple. Finally, local chat slash L or slash LC. And their color, yet again, is white. Um, this range you don't have to worry about unless you have a server where people can actively switch world files while they are in game. Um, the range negative one means no limits, so no matter where you are, you can, no matter what world file is you're in, these channels are global. So if there is another number, like zero, that means you have to be in a specific world file to use it. So if I change this to zero, you can only be in the default world file to talk on that channel. Okay. <sighs> Any other number, which would which as you see here is local, you have to be, I presume, in the local file to um, use that. That is not very common and not used too often. Most, um, most of your users will most likely be using general chat and their town or nation chat. <coughs> so again, these channels are easy to configure and all they really do is change chat rooms for your users. Um, coming up we have the configuration for the chat itself, so stick around. Alright, now for the final part of this tutorial is the chat settings um, section. So again we're going to go into our server file, plugins, townie, settings. But now we're going to click on the chat config file. So make this bigger. This file, there isn't a whole lot you really need to mess with. This is pretty much a reference for all of the different commands that you can type in that will affect the chat as a whole. So we have, I'll go through these, um, name out some important ones. So if you type in slash world name, you will display the world that your player is currently in. This, again, is not useful unless you have another plugin that runs more than one world file at a time that your users can switch between. The next is town, displays the name of the town that you're in. Um, skip down to nation, it displays the name of a nation that you are a member to or that you're in. Um, Towny tag, it displays the formatted town or nation tag as specified in the um, config.yml file. It'll be in there. Title, it'll be the name of whichever player, that, I mean it'll tell you the title of whichever player you type in. If you type in slash surname and then the player's name, it will tell you the surname of that player. Um, Towny color will name a color for you, king, mayor, or resident, depending on who you type in. Alright, so skipping down here, we see these text colorings yet again. Um, you can change these, I believe, but there's really no point. Um, text coloring is a good way to identify between factions or towns or nations, um, if you so please. Another good thing about the townie chat is that it does have a spam guard. So if a person is sending any messages that um, repeatedly faster than half of a second, then they will be marked as spam and will be locked out um, from sending more messages. All right. So all the rest is their technicalities. You can change them if you w if you want to, but the default settings are mostly all good. Again, you can reference all of these here if you are puzzled about what a specific tag does or a specific command does. Alright, so um, that does it for part 5. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, pretty soon I'll be s 
releasing another video that goes into more detail about the Towny plugin in game, in usage. I need to gather some people together so that it is um, a better demonstration than just a single person. But um, you get the idea. That should be coming relatively quickly. So again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment um, about anything I previously mentioned. If you have any questions, you can um, subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed it, and check out the rest of my videos. Uh, thanks again, and see you next time.